Hello everyone, I'm Ding. Welcome to B-Ray SketchUp series. In this video, we're going to do interior visualization. We'll set up a virtual studio in SketchUp with all these virtual lightings and we'll shoot with the virtual camera. It's like indoor photography in SketchUp. We're starting right away. <music> Let's start with the basics. It's like interior visualization 101. We have a 3D model against a plain white background with this round corner. There's a lot of ways to create this geometry. So let's go ahead and take our first render. This is a scene with our default sunlight enabled and the intensity multiplier is set to 1. And if we set the intensity multiplier to 0 and the sunlight is still enabled, we'll have this scene. Yes, there will be lights. Let's set up our virtual studio that would look something like this. For the main artificial light, Click the plain light button of the V-Ray Lights toolbar and place it above our 3D plant. In the light section of our asset editor, we can see the artificial light that we have just created. It's this one, V-Ray Rectangular Light with a default intensity set to 30. Now let's render. Create two copies of this light. Make each copy unique and position them this way. Here are those additional lights. And before we adjust some settings, let's hit the render button. I guess we're done with our virtual studio setup. Close to this one, I hope. Let's get back to SketchUp and make some adjustments to our settings. When shooting indoors, it's best to change the lights units from scalar to lumens. Set the intensity of the main light to 1500 and the two side lights to 500. If we click render, we will have this scene. It's because by default, in the camera settings, the EV or exposure value is set to 14. Let's lower the EV to 7 and we will get a much brighter and better scene. change the field of view of our current scene, just click Z and on the lower right bottom, type a new field of view and on this one, let's just say 20 degrees. Right click and click add. We are on a new scene, scene 4 and again let's render this may not look obvious but seasoned photographers at a glance will point out that the subject seems to be floating the base of the path as it seems is not secured to the foreground to fix this one let's apply their own trick Select our object and move it upwards by about 1 fourth inch. The image on the left side of your screen is the floating one. 
and the right side seems to do the trick. Let's change the colors of our two side lights. On the left, let's make it red. And on the right, let's try yellow. And lower the EV value to 6. And once again, let's render. And from here on, there are lots of ways to achieve the scene that we truly want. You can make the artificial lights larger, increase the intensity multiplier, or position the lights closer to the subject. Thank you guys for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and you could leave some comments below I will get back to them and for those of you who are not yet subscribed to this channel subscribe now click that bell for the latest uploads more videos to come just like this one I will see you soon have a great day at mabuhay ang mga Pinoy visualizers